Well, I guess there's really nothing left to say. You know, you've made up your mind. I just really wish you hadn't married Jared. Me too. I've ruined his life as well. Not yet. Not until he finds out you don't really want to be his wife anymore. Well, it's just not fair to Jared when it's Ethan that I love, right? Sometimes I have to say, you know, I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. Well, you had to tell me to fall my heart and be with Ethan, right? Yeah. Before you married Jared, you know, but now that you two are married, I... I don't know how I feel about that whole thing, you know? I know, I know, but you know what? I know how I feel. I love Ethan, and you know what? He's right. We need to stand up to that blackmailer and fight him together. Ethan doesn't even know why you're being blackmailed. Not really. And you don't want to tell him the truth, right? It just seems like there always has to be lies, you know? It, I don't know. I just... I don't know how to tell him that Ethan is our son. I am going to start by ending one lie right now. What is it? I mean, what happened besides the horrible accident at the courthouse? Well, do you remember when we were um, at the seascape with Vincent, waiting for Valerie to show up for dinner? Do you remember that? Yeah. Did she show up? Or? Well, no, 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 she didn't. But you remember how Vincent was going on and on about how he was so heartbroken that Valerie didn't love him and, you know, he was going to lose her? <laughs> it was just a joke. I mean, it, the whole thing was just a big lie. Vincent's been cheating on her the whole time. Does she know? Yeah, she does now. I told her. And she's completely devastated. I just, I, I don't get why men have to be such pigs sometimes, you know? I, I don't know. I mean... Vincent's a tabloid reporter, so I never really completely trusted him. I didn't take him for being a total jerk. I brought us something good to drink. Thank you. You know what? Thank you very much, but I, I really have to get going. Chad didn't want me to leave tonight anyway. Okay. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. You be careful, okay? Too. Both of you. Feeling better? Actually, yeah. You know, I told Whitney that um, I want to end my marriage to Jared so that I can be with you. And it felt good to say it out loud. Suddenly, I. I feel much better myself, actually. Poor Jared. He has no idea that Teresa may do the same thing to him that I'm about to do to Fox. He's such a nice guy. I hope he can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> 